Greetings, this is Vlodril and welcome back to Let's Play Elder Scrolls Online. Alright, we need to go touch the stone apparently. Also, what's this? Alright, cool. Let's see. I'm guessing it's up here. A dissoning stone. Alright. Welcome to my court, outsider. Since you entered my domain, I have watched your actions with keen interest. You have been generous with my people and more patient than I expected. But I still cannot gather one thing. Why have you come? I've come to negotiate on behalf of the Dominion. Again, not what I expected. I think I've heard of this old Mary Dominion, but I don't see how inclusion in this group would appeal to me or to the people in my domain. Aligning with you would only alienate us from others. You would only be alienated from our common enemies. Interesting. You think we have common enemies? My only enemies are those who would seek to harm Valenwood. Let us test your theory, though. Show me one of these enemies of whom you speak. So I might better understand. All right. How do I do that? Use the other stone pillar, the one on the platform behind us. Touch that stone pillar, and an apparition will appear. One of your enemies, as you say. Fight this enemy so that I might see its true nature. Persuade. Can you give me any assistance in this fight? I am pleased to be able to lend you strength to face this enemy from your past. Well, basically, up to now, anyway, we're mostly be fighting. Our own faction. <laughs> Traitors and betrayals and stuff like that. And the Edra, of course. Oh, okay. Strike us down, but the veiled heritance will always rise. So yeah, basically we are our worst enemies so far anyway. What the hell? I sense the darkness in the heart of the one you fought, but he has already been defeated, has he not? And those like him, they may not all share his darkness. You should have me call these people enemies, though. He has a point. Yes, they are known as the Veiled Heritants. The Veiled Heritants, yes. I am familiar with this distinction as well. There is one among this group who has come to Valenwood to see me, and I find her curious. Very curious. I am not inclined to consider her an enemy. Who is this person you are referring to? She is one who has been blessed with fascinating gifts. Gifts I cannot afford to ignore. You would know her identity, though. I was able to capture one of her memories. Touch the petition stone again, and I will share it with you. Alrighty. Why are you here? Why does the Dominion send Hazazi to places like this? Hmm. Weird. Uh, wrong stone, I guess. Much need of someone like you, Aranias. Yes, young one. We have a problem in the Valen Wood that will require your talents. Oh, nice. I, I would be honored to help, however I can. The opportunity has arisen to strike a devastating blow to the Dominion, to divide the Bosma. The Bosma in Greenshade claim allegiance not to King Camorra, but to a man they call the Wilder King. Killing this Wilder King will drive the Bosma mad. He is very elusive, though, so I will need your help to find him. You realize we are entrusting you with an important task, I hope, my dear. Of course, Lady Estri, you can count on me. As you've just seen, the young girl Aranias is associated with the Veiled Heritance. 
Until I know more about her, I hesitate to call her an enemy. I will have more insight soon, though. Even now, Aranias is on her way to my throne. But she's coming with Andor to destroy you. So she believes. But there may be a greater truth to her purpose here. You may not like this, but I sense the same is true of you. Cool. Like the branches of a Gratok, I believe that Aranias' destiny, my destiny, and your destiny are all intertwined. I cannot yet see how these events will play out, but I do know that like Aranias, you must come deeper into the forest. Where do I need to go? You must eventually come to my throne, but not yet. Sazi is finished Each of us spinach. is a strand to be spun into the story of Valenwood. You should seek out the spinner, Marowen. He can tell us how this story began and where it should end. What about Andur and Aranias? Will you be safe? Yes. Traveling through Valenwood is a funny thing. It may take them many days to find the path to my throne. You have all the time you need. Find the spinner's cottage and speak to Marowen. Safe journeys, my friend. Alright, I look for Spinner Marowen then. Cool. Dancing elves, forest spirit kings. These people are pulling on the tail in more ways than one. You can stay if you want to. But Azazi thinks it is time for him to return to Marbrook. All right. Let's see what's down here. Ah, oh, this place is green. The Altmeri definitely have the best looking areas. It works! It really works! What really works? I can't believe it. I finally figured it out. This... This could change everything. Our Lurcher Guardians, I've found a way to give each of them special powers. Why would you want to give a Lurcher special powers? To make them more effective, of course. The Guardians protect the village, and now we can imbue each of them with different elemental tactics. And the best part is that building them isn't even hard. It's easy. How do you build them? Well, you see, the husks are the same, grown from local flora. It's the Guardian's guts that make it special. Bring me some Thunderbug bellies, dewbugs, and hive seeds from outside the village, and I'll show you how to make one. Alright. Why not? I like it's prancing. What else? Ah. Wow. Apparently they are all over the place. Fair enough. The bow animation looks really bad in uh, first person. For sure. Do I need... no. Alright. Then uh, 
critical hit damage, sure, why not? What do I need? The hive seeds and you bugs. Really? Why? Alright, have seeds. Huh? What happened? Yeah, it was a duck. Do that later. For now, let's keep going this way. Is this? close thanks One more. Then. That was fast, but I'm not surprised. Did you find the things we need to build you a guardian? Yes. Wonderful! Now comes the best part, mixing ingredients to give the guardian its powers. Lightning bellies and hive seeds make a fire guardian. Hive seeds and dew bugs make a wooden guardian. Lightning bellies and dew bugs a water guardian. Okay. Yes, it'll be your guardian. Use this husk and build the one you want. Then we'll test it against the others. Lead it over to challenge two other guardians. Tell you what, you can even use these healing roots to give your guardian an edge. Okay. Sir. Sure. Go. Oh my guardian. And fight the other guardians, I guess. Uh, 
I'm not sure which is mine. Close. Let's go fight the fire. Fight the fire one. Hitting like crazy. Alright, it's done. I've never seen a guardian fight like that. Incredible! You really know how to choose a champion. Sure. This day will go down in our clan's history, and you helped make it happen. <laughs> Unfortunately, I haven't figured out how to keep the guardians under control for very long, but I'm working on it. Alright. Ah, ugly. I've never seen this yes, yes. Alright. Yeah, I need to go back to the city. But first I need to go get this. I need to go back and sell and because I'm full of stuff again. Some dice to there. Hello there. Hello there. This is a nice city arrangement wise, but uh, doesn't have a lot of. Uh, Crafting stations, so they have them in weird places. Maybe they have them inside the guilds, yeah. Let's see. And we'll save this it. So other things and something. Okay. All right. You know what? I'll do that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you next time.